realagriculture.com's coverage of Crop Week in Saskatoon is brought to you by FarmLink Marketing Solutions, BioVision Seed Labs, the Canadian Wheat Board, and High Stick MT. We're here today on realagriculture.com with Denton McGregor from FCC. He's based in Saskatoon and we're at Crop Week 2011. Welcome today, Denton. Thanks, Sean. Denton, uh, Farmers have been doing fairly well this year for the ones that got the crop off. You know, flax prices are good, lentils are good, canola's up. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you seeing farmers are doing uh, with that increase in cash flow? Are they expanding yeah. or are they paying off debt? Yeah, like over the last, I'd say the last two to three years, we've seen really good cash flow from our clients. They've uh, expanded their balance sheets, obviously, and taken an opportunity to upgrade equipment was the first and primary thing. And, uh, a lot of guys, when they're upgrading equipment, there's uh, always the need to uh, secure your acres. So if there's a lot of rented acres out there, they're looking to uh, to purchase those acres or convert that rent to uh, to uh, cash payment and try to build on the. I've been hearing about some pretty smoking land rental rates. Yeah, there's that's been the talk. I mean, when you're looking at the grain prices where they're at today, uh, it's driven up land values and rents. There's well, I guess twelve, fourteen dollar canola. Makes uh, makes a difference. Sixteen dollar flax is coming our way, so yeah, it's driven up the rental price and uh, the dollar per acre price. We're not quite at Manitoba levels, but uh, setting some new precedents again this year. So, Den, what about you? mentioned interest rates. Uh, how concerned is the bank about interest rate interest uh, rates rising? It, it's it's a cost of uh, it's cost of an ongoing business, right? I mean, it's something that we're factoring in at all times. We, we are in a low interest rate environment, all time low, so we're always factoring in to see what those long term rates are going to look like. Right. Can our clients sustain it if they were to fix in their rates? Uh, it's, it's something that we're always factoring in, just like the cost of production and fertilizer prices. Yeah, because, you know, low rates, uh, I guess, stimulate some growth in the ag sector, but at the same time, if interest rates were to go up, uh, you know, in a violent way, right. it would definitely have an impact on agriculture. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it would, uh, and that's where we again look at their cash positions, their working capital. Can they sustain a higher cost of borrowing? Uh, and, and are they positioned well? Do we have them structured well? That, your loan structuring is key yeah. to to uh, absorb an increased interest rate. So, would you agree right now that uh, it's very, you know, I think agriculture is doing fairly well in Western Canada. We're not. Yep. Uh, it's, it's pretty hard to say that farmers aren't making money right now. No, there's been some pockets that have been hit over the last uh, couple of years, and we're working with those clients day to day. Mainly because of weather? Yeah, or mostly because because of weather. There were some okay. droughts, and then this last year we had some record precipitation. So we're working with those guys. We have support strategies in place to work with those guys uh, to try to you know mend cash flow for the year and, and look to 2011. Um, yeah, it's just there's been a lot of optimism. Balance sheets look good. Prices are strong again, and uh, yields are still there. So it's uh, it's exciting times. Good. Thanks a lot, Den. Good luck with the rest of the show. Yes, thanks, Sean.